Hey there, Hello folks. again, everyone. I'm All Dragon, and I'm Zerfall, and we're playing a co-op Stellaris. Yes. Let's go ahead and unpause it right away. And it looks like the three little uh, there's our three little guys and the two. Well, not fallen. Well, I guess they're fallen empires up north of us. Luckily, they won't expand, so they shouldn't cut us off at all. No, they won't. Uh, but I haven't found one of them. Sad to say. Keep seeing gas uh, giants. I did. Uh, I do see the um, high value mining targets. One of them is to my uh, east. Uh oh. Get you out of here before uh, those guys attack us. There we go. Uh, let's see. I will gain the sixty physics research points. Oh god, that's that's not a good system. Uh, I have a system with just two energy in it. Mm. Yeah, I've got one that's just got two uh, society research. I have. Well, I have one of my worlds and one of my systems just has one society research on it. That's just like almost not even worth the. Uh... I mean, I guess it is at this point early in the game, but it's almost not even worth the uh, uh, energy expenditure. <laughs> oh, the more research you can get going before you're. Um... Oh, no, I'm engaged in combat? What's going on here? 15%. I'll leave B for now. Uh, you encountered some aliens? Apparently I warped in just a little too close to a mining rig. Yeah, I hate those. Get out of here. <laughs> that is like the big danger. Which system is that in? It is in... Uh, Menaz. Menraz? Menraz? There's an R uh, and an N next to each other. Not sure if I uh, know that one. Yeah, we had to retreat. Did you oh, lose Oh, no! Anything? No, this is terrible! <laughs> it retreated to a system with crystalline entities, and now they're attacking it! Oh! Oh, I've fallen into a trap. The only way to retreat is back to the other guys again. I could have taken on these this entity, too, if I had had all three ships, but one of them died before I could retreat. Ooh, that's never good. Yep. So this Ruby Crystal Sovereign is going to murder Ooh. my... Yeah. That sounds like it. Oh, maybe this one will get away. Which way are you running? To death, he disappeared. Did you lose all of them? Yeah, all three. Oh, I'm gonna waste some energy or some minerals building them. I hate that. I really, really hate that. I kind of feel like you should be able. You should be safe from the you know quote unquote monsters if you're outside of that dotted line. Mm, yeah, yeah. Just because in the early game, it's way too easy to get just destroyed. Especially if you end up with a bunch next to each other. Cause right. <laughs> you think you got away. Let's go ahead and start clearing some more of our... Uh... Uh, what is it? Sprawling slums. Yes. It makes sense for uh, the roaches to have sprawling slums, I suppose. I got them, too. Oh, I got a system with uh, engineering research. Nice. Oh, I have another tropical world. Oh, oh. So <laughs> it is size 15, though. Ugh. I, I feel like I've been... You've been had? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I got the short end of the stick here. <laughs> well, the cold end of the stick isn't that bad on the Arctic worlds. I'm definitely doing okay. I got... Three within my zone already, and a fourth one over here. Damn. Uh, you've got a 16. There's a 14 arid world, 17 arctic world, 18 arctic world. You suck. <laughs> uh, scientist Alara has leveled up. Skill level two. Excellent. Get, get out of there, guys. All right, they're... They're slowly coming after you, but just get out of there. Hurry. Oh, 
They did not get out of there fast enough. Those fools. Don't they realize? They're going to lose their lives. 19 days until like emergency FTL is ready. Yeah, the Sapphire Crystal Sovereigns. Come on. Get out, get out. I'm going to lose one of these guys for sure, I'm, I'm sure. Two, one, go. Oh, there's a void cloud. System survey complete. That's probably not the best place that I could have gone. <laughs> not sure what's up here. Alien vessels. A whole bunch of them. Hmm. <laughs> See, that's the one good thing about... I guess I should have set my guys to, like, uh, take off mode. Well, I don't know that that would have <laughs> made... I mean, because... I had my guys traveling through that system, and they just they they didn't uh, uh, warm up their uh, FTL fast enough. Mm. I didn't lose anything though, luckily. But I'm gonna have to spend some cash to uh, repair it. All right. I have no. I, I have one thing of two minerals in my uh, uh, area of influence. That is not very much. No, I've managed to get up to plus twenty one per month so far. Damn, I'm getting plus twelve only. But I only have plus two energy. Although, depending uh, on how things go, that ends up being two thousand energy out of nowhere, and you're like, oh hey. Yeah, plus six at least. I guess I'll go build a mining station for more energy. Then I'll have to go for the uh, um, the research. All right, you guys go home and uh, repair up. I don't know how much this is going to cost, but... Oh man, this is only a level one anomaly, but it has a forty-five percent failure risk. I hate that. I hate those. Like, how is it level level one and have uh, um, so high a failure risk? Because it's going to be amazing. Hopefully, it works. I'm taking the risk. So I just Kijikun has uh, leveled up. I got a mining network ready for our, my next uh, um, pop growth. So there's that. Can't build anything new on my uh, spaceport yet. All right, cleared off some more... Uh, Sprawling slum, so I can get some more power, but I don't really need power. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's good times. And there goes what little mineral stockpile I had. How do you guys, how much do you like me? How do we have border friction with the uh, Great Yapathi Kingdom? Because they're jerks. It's probably true. Ah, oh, their fleet it's, power is superior. That's weird because they're xenophiles too, and pacifists. So why are they so upset that we're somewhat in the same general vicinity? Yeah, I know. Oh, they failed. Oh, good. I got uh, successfully repaired. I think I'm going to leave the first husk squadron at home for now. <laughs> oh man. This guy's got a fail risk of minus 25%, and he still had a freaking hard time with his stuff. Damn, that's pretty good. What what skill is that? It is called Archaeologist. Ah, uh, yes. Just that like Indiana may, Jones. That may only work on um, certain types of uh, anomalies. Oh, uh, I found an ocean world with uh, four society research. It's not in my space yet, though. Now, I wonder if this minus 25% chance to fail, is that 
a straight up minus 25% chance? Or is it like something like, okay, if you have a 20% chance of failing and you have this skill, now you have 25% off of the 20. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm. Next time he goes to do something, uh, check it out though. Because I always forget to do that when I've got, uh, um, uh, when I've got people. Because this one I have, I have one right now that has a failure risk of 22%. So I'm assuming he should be able to do this <laughs> pretty well. I'm down to 12% on uh, one of mine. Uh, I might go after that soon. Oh, here we go. When I hover over it, it says base risk is 30%. Due to the scientist's skill level will be higher, uh, being higher than the anomaly level, we get a reduce of, 70 f of 7%. So... It doesn't mention the fact that he's. Yeah, it might only be. Um, I mean, what kind of what is the anomaly? This anomaly is efforts to map the surface of this planet has been has identified a strange mountain formation. Some yeah, southern hemisphere. Yeah, that's that's an organic thing. So hmm. I think that might not apply. Oh yeah, it says ancient civilizations anomalies. Okay, fair enough. Oh shoot, I'm in a fight. Jeez, look away for a second. <laughs> they warp into another freaking what are these guys even? Anonymous drone units. Get oh, out of here. Yeah, they're pretty bad. Oh, all well, three ships got away. Nice. Oh, that's good. And I think if that's the case, I'll just split this one off and send him back home. Cause he took pretty much all the damage. As much as I would like some more minerals, I might go after something else. Let's see, I've got four surplus food. This will go for some more food. And I think I'll go for some more minerals. And you go sit on that. Oh, I said go sit on that. Thank you. All right. What can we survey next? I guess I'll go survey this one since it's fair. Um, actually, maybe I should go do. That's a level two. Hmm. I guess I'll try this fifteen percent one. What's the worst that could happen? Ah, apparently I found a giant massive skeleton. Time to research the gigantic skeleton. It's only 3.4 billion years old. <laughs> Let's go ahead and observe the crystalline entities. Sending my construction ship home. Oh, I need more minerals. I can't believe that I only have one bit of two minerals in all of my systems. That is so terrible. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> and I haven't even found that many uh um tropical worlds. Well, there's a uh, there's a twenty four. What do we have in this system? Oh, that was the void clouds. Well, crap. I will say that pretty much every Arctic world that I've found so far are all clustered around me, and then there's like none outside of that this little little bit here. Yeah, the nearest one that I have outside of my space is Strom, directly to the north of me. But there's a void cloud in it. Mm -hmm. So I will need to make some more uh, combat ships. So let's see, what are we researching? There is significant scarring on the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural. From orbit, the massive rifts look almost like writing. Hmm. It was just a picture of alien wings. Oh yeah, I, I get the uh, prismatic lens modifier too. Oh, there you go. I'll take that. Hells yeah. 
It only uh, gives me... <laughs> I'm getting 6.1 rather than 6.0 monthly gain now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it keeps around, though, eventually it's going to be a huge... Uh, True. Boon. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing onto the surface of... What is this? Tews. Tews 2. The massive script covers a large portion of the planet's upper hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Fascinating, Captain. Plus three society research. So that's pretty nice. It appears to be a shopping list. They had very bad memories. It's not a list that you can take with you, though. All right, I got a 12% failure risk on this one, so we'll go do that one. Again, the one that I just did was level 1, 15% failure risk. This one is level 2 with 12%. Hmm. Go figure. So I've got, in one system, three society and two engineering that I need to uh, take advantage of. Um, in another one, I've got one society on one world and one physics and one society on another world. And then in my third system, two physics and two anomalies. Special project complete. So we'll see what that uh, ends up giving me. Uh, my other anomaly, 30% failure risk. Don't think we're going to be uh, doing that one anytime soon. <laughs> so apparently this massive skeleton I found served as a some uh, some kind of organic spaceship. Oh yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I found a similar one too, where apparently the skeleton had crawled through a portal. Yep, and just died. <laughs> yeah, they're basically two different uh, um, results that you can get for that. Mm. Let's see, atmospheric readings from Ibleronda three do not match simulated projections. And the other one that I am not going to research just yet is a small rectangular object on the surface of this moon is deflecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Our sensors are unable to determine its material composition. Scientist Remy Engler has leveled up. Level two. Sometimes I wonder if it's like, is it worth it to send out a scientist to do a bunch of surveying and then turn him into a just regular researcher because he's leveled up more quickly? Yeah, because they, they do um, gain experience pretty quick. Mm -hmm. and just cycle them out as you go and then just, if you have a very bad uh, anomaly to research, you just throw a, one of the scientists back out there. Yep. Although I don't usually do that too much because um, the individual traits that they end up getting are pretty good. But your uh, scientist who's out wandering around can gain um, research-specific uh, traits, which are pretty good. Yeah. Let's see. I've got enough now. Let's go build this physics research since I'm getting a boost to that anyway. And let's go grab this other one. There goes all my minerals. <laughs> hey, oh, first Amada is fully repaired. I thought you lost your your fleet. No, he was. Wait a minute. There's a. Oh my gosh! There's a little uh, tiny conglomerate just to the left of us here. I don't know if he just spawned or if... Probably only just discovered him. I haven't been out in that direction. I brought my guys home. <laughs> <laughs> hey, their uh, logo is a little pill bug. Ooh, swirling shadows. Immense ragged planes of shadow drift across Ibleronda 3's face. These are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather jointed to allow for a small degree of articulation. Uh, Science officer Tikol has yet is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna or what possible purpose if any their elaborate shadow casting might serve plus six society research on that system hmm. and governor zappa slave is leveled up and i gained field manipulation tech <laughs> hmm i am apparently going for science here because i just have the opportunity to uh, get <laughs> administrative ai <laughs> Go for that one. Let's 
actually, that's something that we could do. Offer trade deal. Ah, get our uh, research on. Yep. Oh, man, I got a planet with two. Oh, that's the one with the anomaly. It has uh, a total of six. Almost six? Yeah, six research on it. Nice. I sent you a request. Yeah, I guess I'll agree to this. It's pretty good, I suppose. Finally finished New Worlds Protocol, and I'm going for the monthly influence one. Thank you. Oh, don't grunt at me. I Just finally, rude, sir. <laughs> I finally uh, fully surveyed Zol. <laughs> My guy was just out and about. I had no reason to get it. Uh... My dragon's stronghold. Kajog's keep. Your Jama's treasure. I like your your system's name. What what? Uh... Uh, I can't remember what I picked. It was, I don't think I picked a Mammalian one, though. I think I just looked for one that had a lot of Zeds in it as I was going through the lists that they have. I received a communique from the Hisma conglomerate. Ah, they were probably, ah, when you sent me that trade deal, they were probably listening into our communications and figured out that you exist. Oh, well, now I want to go up there and beat them up. <laughs> They are collectivists and fanatic materialists. Oh, they already like me because bright materialists. Don't worry, little guys. You will one day be a part of me. Continental preference, intelligent. Oh, yeah, I chose intelligent, didn't I? They don't like me. They find me negative 13. <laughs> because of border friction. But they love oh. my slavery policy. They're like... I like what you're doing with your populations, making them work for no pay. It's amazing. <laughs> yes, Listen. I have intelligent, rapid breeders, and sedentary. Oh, another anomaly. Only 5% risk. Research that right away. Wow, that's pretty good. I need to, I think, build my first colony ship. I don't know when I'm going to be able to afford that. Oh, man, it's so far away. I need like 100 bucks. Let's head up to Strom, see what, uh, what we've got up there. I should get a... I should get a... Uh, an admiral. Uh, let's see. Resilient... Aggressive and aggressive. Eh, I guess we'll go with aggressive. A resilient guy is really uh, young, though. All right, you can be... All right, we've got, uh, if I spell it right, we've got our Admiral Laris Magpie now. Mmm, careless pawing. <laughs> what? <laughs> According to a report from the crew, um, their mission was a failure. What? Oh, yeah. They like allegedly 5%. took manual control of the probe sent to retrieve a sample from the cluster, resulting in a collision between the drone and the mineral cluster that went, that while mild, resulted in mineral cluster breaking apart completely. Stupid. Guy. There was a 5% chance for failure. <laughs> Although apparently... I can get a bunch of minerals, or I can give them a bunch of experience, and they now have the careful trait. Ooh, there are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. I like the sound of that. Hmm. So, do you know what the difference between carefree and careful is? Uh, I would assume that carefree... Well, no, actually, I don't know. Uh, careful is pretty good. You have, like, reduced... Uh, failure risk. Uh, well, he's my only scientist, so I'm going to go with that one. I had a chance at 400 credits, but they were going to become careless. They were going to have careless whispers. <laughs> All right. Well, I think it's, we're creeping up on the time for this video to uh, get a bit of a cut. That sounds about right. Let me just go ahead and uh, start a research station there. All right. We'll go ahead and pause it. And when we return, more Stellaris, more taking over the galaxy. I'm Zerfall. I'm All Dragon. And we'll see you next time.